Okay, here, here we have a beam pocket that we have to worry about. This beam comes in and it goes into our wall. So we have, what we've done here, we slid one, uh, the block that could fit under the beam, we've slid it in and it just worked out perfect. So the bottom, top of this block is actually bottom of the beam. So what we've done here, we've beveled the bottom of the foam here so we have a good corbel so we have more concrete that this beam base actually bears on. Now we're going to cut our next piece that's going to come up and over the beam here and set it over top and that's it. The beam's boxed in and uh, the poly's on the end of the beam so everything's protected and we're ready to rock and roll. Now that we know where this beam is, we know that we have to cut 26 inches and 29 and 3 quarters. So we're going to cut this piece out here. I've pre-marked it already, so 26 inches is here. And then 29 and 3 quarters. And then the height of the beam. So it's a right here, I'll cut along this line, and we have to cut, this happens to be right on a tie, so we'll be cutting the tie out as well. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, so I finished cutting, I can pull my piece out, I cut the ties, now we have our piece that's going to wrap around and hopefully if I did my measurements right, this should fit. Look at that. Just like it was supposed to.